여러분 안녕하십니까. 대진용의 쏙쏙 AFKN 스피킹 시간입니다. 가장 새로운 도전은 미국 자동차 산업에 대한 누구누구에 대한 도전, Challenge to 누구누구 이렇게 to가 올수 있습니다. The newest challenge to America's auto industry. 가장 새로운 도전은 미국 자동차 산업에 대한 The newest challenge to America's auto industry. 가장 새로운 도전은 미국 자동차 산업에 대한 The newest challenge to America's auto industry. 중국에서 오고 있습니다. Is coming from China. 중국에서 오고 있습니다. Is coming from China. 쇼딩 하세요. The newest challenge to America's auto industry is coming from China. 한번 더요. The newest challenge to America's auto industry is coming from China. 숫자는 중국의 자동차 수출 규모는 The number of Chinese auto exports. 숫자는 중국의 자동차 수출 규모는 The number of Chinese auto exports. 숫자는 중국의 자동차 수출 규모는 The number of Chinese auto exports. 급증했습니다. 50% 이상. 증가하다는 increase도 가능하겠지만 이렇게 급증할 경우에 jump라는 동사를 잘 씁니다. Jump by more than 50%. 급증했습니다. 50% 이상. Jump by more than 50%. 급증했습니다. 50% 이상. Jump by more than 50%. 지난 2년 동안. Over the last two years. 지난 2년 동안. Over the last two years. 쉐드윙 하시겠습니다. The number of Chinese auto exports jumped by more than 50% over the last two years. 한번 더요. The number of Chinese auto exports jumped by more than 50% over the last two years. 중국은 합류했습니다. 일본, 독일, 그리고 미국과. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. 중국은 합류했습니다. 일본, 독일, 그리고 미국과. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. 중국은 합류했습니다. 일본, 독일, 그리고 미국과. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. 하나로서 세계 최대의 자동차 수출국 중 하나로서. Is one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. 하나로서 세계 최대의 자동차 수출국 중 하나로서. Is one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. 하나로서 세계 최대의 자동차 수출국 중 하나로서. Is one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. 자 그래서 일본, 독일 그리고 미국과 함께 세계 최대 자동차 수출국 중 하나가 되었습니다. 이런 의미가 되겠습니다. 쉐도잉요? It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. as one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. 한번 더요. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. as one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. CBS의 엘리자베스 파머가 우리에게 보여줍니다. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us. 우리가 곧 운전하게 될 것이라는 것을 중국산 자동차를 모모라는 것을 이럴 때 how를 쓸수 있다고 해설 강의 때 해드렸습니다. How we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. 우리가 곧 운전하게 될 것이라는 것을 중국산 자동차를 How we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. 우리가 곧 운전하게 될 것이라는 것을 중국산 자동차를 How we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. 쉐도잉 하시겠습니다. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us how we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. 한번 더요. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us how we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. 상하이 최초의 오토쇼는 제로 코비드 종식 후 Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID. 상하이 최초의 오토쇼는 제로 코비드 종식 후 Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID. 상하이 최초의 오토쇼는 제로 코비드 종식 후 Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID. 제공했습니다. 미래를 엿볼 수 있는 기회를 Offered a glimpse of the future. 제공했습니다. 미래를 엿볼 수 있는 기회를 Offered a glimpse of the future. 제공했습니다. 미래를 엿볼 수 있는 기회를 Offered a glimpse of the future. Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID offered a glimpse of the future. 한번 더요. Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID offered a glimpse of the future. 이곳의 거의 모든 차들은 하이브리드이거나 전기차였습니다. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. 이곳의 거의 모든 차들은 하이브리드이거나 전기차였습니다. 
Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. 이곳의 거의 모든 차들은 하이브리드이거나 전기차였습니다. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. 중국의 스타트업에서 기성 플레이어에 이르기까지 BYD와 같은 From Chinese startups to established players like BYD. 중국의 스타트업에서 기성 플레이어에 이르기까지 BYD와 같은 From Chinese startups to established players like BYD. 중국의 스타트업에서 기성 플레이어에 이르기까지 BYD와 같은 From Chinese startups to established players like BYD. 세계 전기 자동차 제조업체 중 하나인 BYD. One of the largest EV makers in the world. 세계 전기 자동차 제조업체 중 하나인 BYD. One of the largest EV makers in the world. 세계 전기 자동차 제조업체 중 하나인 BYD. One of the largest EV makers in the world. 전통적인 미국 브랜드에 이르기까지 말입니다. To legacy American brands. 전통적인 미국 브랜드에 이르기까지 말입니다. To legacy American brands. 전통적인 미국 브랜드에 이르기까지 말입니다. To legacy American brands. 쉐도잉 하시겠습니다. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric, from Chinese startups to established players like BYD, one of the largest EV makers in the world, to legacy American brands. 한번 더요. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric, from Chinese startups to established players like BYD, one of the largest EV makers in the world, to legacy American brands. 한번 더 하시겠습니다. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric, from Chinese startups to established players like BYD, one of the largest EV makers in the world, to legacy American brands. The newest challenge to America's auto industry. The newest challenge to America's auto industry. The newest challenge to America's auto industry is coming from China. Is coming from China. The newest challenge to America's auto industry is coming from China. The newest challenge to America's auto industry is coming from China. The number of Chinese auto exports. The number of Chinese auto exports. The number of Chinese auto exports jumped by more than 50%. Jumped by more than 50%. Jumped by more than 50% over the last two years. Over the last two years, the number of Chinese auto exports jumped by more than 50% over the last two years. The number of Chinese auto exports jumped by more than 50% over the last two years. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. as one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. As one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. As one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. as one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. as one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us how we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. How we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. How we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us how we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us how we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. The newest challenge to America's auto industry is coming from China. The number of Chinese auto exports jumped by more than 50% over the last two years. It's joined Japan, Germany, and the U.S. as one of the world's largest vehicle exporters. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer shows us how we could soon be driving vehicles made in China. Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID. Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID. Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID offered a glimpse of the future. 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 Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID offered a glimpse of the future.
Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID offered a glimpse of the future. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. From Chinese startups to established players like BYD. From Chinese startups to established players like BYD. From Chinese startups to established players like BYD. One of the largest EV makers in the world. One of the largest EV makers in the world. One of the largest EV makers in the world. To legacy American brands. To legacy American brands. To legacy American brands. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. From Chinese startups to established players like BYD, one of the largest EV makers in the world. To legacy American brands. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. From Chinese startups to established players like BYD, one of the largest EV makers in the world. To legacy American brands. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. From Chinese startups to established players like BYD, one of the largest EV makers in the world. To legacy American brands. Shanghai's first auto show since the end of zero COVID offered a glimpse of the future. Almost every car here was either hybrid or electric. From Chinese startups to established players like BYD, one of the largest EV makers in the world. To legacy American brands.